Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Carson Hosevar's 2022, or sorry, 2023, 31H Circle B Midget Car from the Chili Bowl Nationals, or I think that's what they call it, but anyway, it's from the Chili Bowl. He ran this uh, back at Tulsa, is it Tulsa? I think it's Tulsa. Uh, I'm not as well versed on the uh, on the Chili Bowl side of it. I'm more of a gotta have a wing over the head guy, you know? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, though. Uh, we are taking a look first at our box, standard Acme box. We've got CircleBDieCast.com, uh, proud uh, supplier of RSDieCast.com. I will admit it proudly. They are my supplier, which is awesome because I love working with them. They're a good company. Um, yes, so CircleBDieCast. Uh, we also have the number here, 31H. And then uh, here on the side, you can see we've got CircleBDieCast. Love the logo, too. The colors are always great. So uh, we'll slide that down. Let's go ahead and take a look at this diecast. It's a very nice car. Um, actually, let's just go ahead and keep that right up here. Keep that right up here and maybe just go to a 1.5 times zoom. Well, actually, that might be enough right there. All right. So the first thing you'll notice is on the side, you'll see these wheel covers. These are all available with very specific uh, of the midget cars. But you see that that wheel cover just pops right off, snaps back in. And uh, that'll be relevant to the Logan CV car I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Or in our next video, I should say. But see, we've got Circle B diecast down the side. You can actually see there we've got SR11X. Uh, right there on the valve cover, and then it's carbon fiber as well, or at least that's what it's skinned with. Uh, we got our front shocks here. We've got our 31H. There you can see the, the wheels there, along with the steering arm. Uh, it's an inline four, so you see the four-cylinder exhaust here coming right out the top. There's the muffler. Um, we got, what is that, B31 LMAN Motorsports. Not sure what that is. I think it's Billman or Bielman, but they're using the three and the one. So kind of neat. Uh, we got Hosevar up there on the top. You can see we got Circle B diecast there right on that engine cover, 31H. And then here on the right side, this is where they can always get a little more creative. They can have bigger logos and stuff because they got the whole driver's side covered. Now, this one, the left side is also covered. So um, the right side, they generally have a little bit more space. Uh, but you got Circle B diecast over there. You can see we got Buckman number 31 there on the tail tank. Um, obviously very similar setup to a sprint car so um in terms of all the components on the front end it is just a, essentially a smaller wingless version uh, i believe there are some winged midgets but i haven't seen them very often it generally are the non-winged um you can see the seat belts in there we got some uh, there's the seat along with the simpson seat belts uh the wheel does not move so you can see the wheels turning but that doesn't move with it uh the engine cover does come out you can see here i'll just pop this out quick uh, it's a little tricky it can be like that sometimes all right so let's see here you got to kind of slide it up oh i gotta remember how this works i think you turn it oh it's gonna be a pain on for me huh i think i may have gone the wrong way with it i think i gotta turn yep we gotta turn the other side up there we go all right there we go now that i got the engine cover removed you can see in here we got our air filter on top there there you can see the uh air intake for all four of the cylinders there um you can see a couple of different lines in there a lot of the lines are black they don't have a lot of color to them i would like to get up close to one of these and see uh just what different line colors they might have but otherwise it looks really good we got our full five point harness seat belt inside uh the gauges are actually in there as well you can't i want to see if i can get a good view of it there you can kind of see them um tough to see though there you can see the gauges uh right there and so yeah that's our detail there underneath you can see here we do have a product or like a stamp here for the uh din so din number 98 or um it's not a din it's it's technically just a serial number um but that is on there we got our two nerf bars there in silver uh you can see there's our break um yeah not much else to see there so um but yeah overall it's a really good looking um really good looking car circle b always has good paint schemes so it's pretty easy for them to not miss i mean they got great colors and everything so that's definitely uh, an easy one to win on so um but yeah very good looking car you can find this at rasdiecast.com or you can find it on the ebay page it's on both um i have started to cross list a lot of stuff on both platforms so um if you see it in both places just know that they're both from the same place um and uh yeah definitely shoot me a message on uh, the website if for some reason the ebay one is showing up cheaper for whatever reason because i i definitely will avoid ebay fees by matching so uh anyway though guys that will pretty much wrap up this video thank you all for watching i hope you have enjoyed and we will see you in the next diecast review